Hi, I'm Jadi and I want to record this video to celebrate 25th years of CURL. It will be released soon, CURL 8. The main changes are bug fixes, not because there are no features, because there are no features needed in CURL. If you don't know about CURL, watch the video. If you know about the CURL, please watch the video. I have fun things to do. You are invited to the party. I will try to give you some practice material. And if you want, just go to the next video. It's your life. You choose. Anyway, I was happy about the 25th birthday of the CURL and wanted to cover it. As you may know, CURL is a programming library and a command line tool. The point is we have libcurl, which is a library written in C, although you have a bindings for practically whatever language you use, Rust, Julia, whatever you use. There are bindings, so you can use libcurl in your programming language, but it itself is written in C and also a command line tool, which is a command line interface, which is curl command. So these are two different things, but curl uses libcurl to do whatever it does. And what it does is, is used in command line or script to transfer data. It can send or get data using lots and lots and lots of protocols, whatever same protocol you can think of and tens of insane protocols you can think of. The reason that you feel that they are insane because you are not familiar enough with them, they can be used using curl. So with a curl command, you can send a data to a HTTP post. You can get data. You can FTP, IMAP, POP3, SCP, LDAP, SMTP, MQTT, and lots and lots of other protocols. And the cool part is CURL works on practically any operating system or architecture you can think of, being it Amiga, IBM, PowerPC, I don't know, Linux, Unix, BSDs, Mac, embedded devices, different architectures, and lots and lots of other things, they all run CURL. Practically whatever you use in your home, which connects to the internet, most probably it is working via libcurl or even curl directly in scripts or commands. If you have a smart fridge which informs somewhere that this happened, most probably it's using libcurl on some level or your smart TV, your car, all do have curl in them. It is written by Daniel Stenberg, super cool guy. Follow him on Twitter and also this is his YouTube channel. I also highly recommend his YouTube channel and time to time Twitches. The point is, this is one place that you can see a super professional guy working on his project. Sometimes he streams or sends recordings of the times he is, for example, releasing a new curl version. Sometimes he even shows us how he's debugging one of the tickets and trying to write code or writing code. And all this cool stuff. For me, it's super interesting to see how super programmers work, how they manage their desktops, their windows, their tools, and this kind of stuff. Thank you, Daniel, for working 25 years on this awesome tool. On the daily usage, we use curl. If you want to download a file, in many cases, curl-o, so save it here, from here is a good solution. Let's run a few commands. For example, you can say curl, I don't know, google.com. I have not indicated any protocol, so it will go for uh, HTTP. We'll send a request, we'll get the answer that this is moved. That's very cool, but it is moved here. For sure, if you go here, it will tell, okay, it is moved to HTTPS version, but let's try. It's some more stuff. It's here. So I can say curl-v, do verbos, show me more things. 
Das ist, ah, cool. Says okay. This was my command. It says okay, about to connect, I'm calling connect to this on port 80. I'm connected to this IP address. I'm sending a get slash with HTTP one. This is my user agent, this is the host. I accept this. It says okay, HTTP one, okay. So I'm working fine. I'm sending you these data, the data is chunked, and this is the first page of the Google. Cool enough. So you can use it for stuff like this. Or I could say save the first page of the Google on index.html of google.com html whatever would be saved here another usage i always try is checking status of the websites here we are checking yahoo.com i can say curl http yahoo.com and i want only the headers so it's okay only the headers it is moved permanently, so nothing that fancy. So I say, follow the moves. And also, show me only the HTTP status. So it's okay, I'm doing this. To get rid of those, I can say, do it silently. So it's okay, first I went to this address, HTTP 1. 01 1.1 and it says it is moved permanently so i went to another address it also said move permanently go to another address and this is 200 okay if you know http codes http 200 means okay everything is working fine so the site is up and working at least on the web server level so you could i was able to check the status very easily also, it's a FTP client. You can directly connect somewhere as a simple FTP client, move into the directories, get files. This is different than doing a direct FTP. Because I can say, curl, uh, go to this address, for example, and get this file. For example, if this is there, if it works, it says, okay, I cannot connect to ftpdebian.com. So you can use it as a FTP client. We always use it for troubleshooting our connection issues or even testing our APIs. APIs are application programming interfaces. You create a server with some specific address. It answers back some data. You can use your curl to request that data and answer back. Or even I have a case here sending SMSs. Or you can, for example, buy a service from a server. They say, okay, whenever you want to send an SMS, for example, connect to blah, blah address under this directory, send your password here, your recipient address here, and your text here. And this will be sent as a short message to this number. So you can do a curl, you can use different Things. You can send a username, password with your curl, whatever you can do on any protocol, you can do on curl. So you can write one line of curl, which does this, and you send an SMS. So it would be very easy for yourself to write a script which checks something on your server. If anything goes wrong, runs this curl command. This is super cool. And in many cases, when you go and buy your services, for example, for a short a uh, message or a text message they will also in their documentation will show you how to use curl to do this stuff as another example even on a for example web server if you go to a sorry website somewhere for example hacker news and if we go to the inspect element so when this is loaded, you can always do a right click on any of these requests. For example, this is the request which loaded the whole file. 
whole website. I can right click, say copy value and copy as curl. Curl is this important. So I can paste it here. This is the exact same request which my browser did to get that page. So sometimes what we do is we go somewhere, we do something, even if you are logged in, if you are not logged in, because this curl request contains all the headers your browser is sending, different headers. If you have a cookie, it would be here. So practically I'm logged in even with this curl request. So for example, if I'm logging my time on my system, I do copy the curl request, everything is there. So if I enter this, the same exact thing will happen. And I found out where I'm sending my times. I just change that one and write a curl script to automatically log my times. Things like this. I just wanted to show you that even copy as curl is part of your browser. Uh, and all of this I talked about is the curl command. Leap curl is another word, the whole word for itself. You can do all of this directly from your programming language, request anything from there. Up to now, you've seen that curl is practically sending data and receiving data. So people started doing fun things. For example, someone registered ifconfig.me and if you request it via curl, so curl ifconfig.me, it will throw back to you your IP address. Cool. You can say curl dash V, B verbose. I want to exactly see what is going on. It says, okay, I'm trying to connect to ifconfig on port 80. This is its IP address. Resolve this one. Connecting to it on port 80, I'm sent get slash HTTP because nothing is here. The default is HTTP and I'm getting the home page, if you call it slash. This is my user agent. This is the host. And the answer is here. You can see from the arrows that this is the request. This is the answer. It says, OK, uh, content length is 15 it's via Google, some other configurations. And you are connected to the host. And this is the answer. This is my public address. So whenever you want to see your public address, you can just do a curl ifconfig and you have your public address in your hands. Check weather. Another person created the weather.in. Very easy to remember and very quick to run. curl http weather in where Saigon. My font was too large. It gives you that, okay, at the moment Saigon is partly cloudy. It's 26 degrees and these are the other dates. There is even one version 2, which shows some fancy, fancy weather reports for Saigon. Very cool. And if you enjoyed this, follow Igor Chopin or Chupin. Another thing which I've practically used a few times and in one uh, script was curl QR encode. So curl uh, QR encode like this. I have to repeat this. This has nothing to do with the curl. At the moment, we are using curl to connect to the service. But because curl is super strong, people created cool services using it. So I can give it some data here. And for example, say curl is cool. And it will throw back to you a QR code with this data in it. And there is one parrot live, which shows a live moving parrot. The power of curl. Most of the time we don't use curl for this stuff. We use curl to connect to different APIs, check things, send a file somewhere, 
even if it's very complicated, even from a curl, you can send an email through your Gmail, for example, because it's SMTP request at the end. So unless nowadays, maybe Gmail blocking it. I will give you some assignment. But if you enjoyed it, there is a Zoom call celebration for curl on the 20th of March 17 UTC. Follow and uh, check the weblog of Daniel, Daniel H A X X Hacks. S E. He's a Swedish guy. Blog for details. I won't be there because I'm traveling in Cyprus. If you enjoyed it, take the next next steps to become a professional. Learn it better. Google curl. Check the man curl. It's super huge. Man curl. It's very huge. Normally, it's very difficult to read all of it because it supports all the protocols in the world practically to transfer data and lots of switches. But it's good to do a browse. Also, you can search Google for curl one-liners, curl fun things, and see what it can do. But if you want to practice, go to apilist.fun or any api.com. These are the collections of different APIs. APRs are application programming interfaces. Someone starts a site, web server, any kind of server. You send some programmatically, programmatically programming. You send some requests with programming and get back some answer which is very good to be interpreted by softwares or by programs. Most of the time, this is in a JSON format. So if you check any API, this is a list of lots and lots of APIs you can use. You can check what it has, security, social, storage, telecom, text, and different things, Oxford dictionaries, for example. Here you can check Oxford dictionaries. Or you can go to apilist.fun, which is another collection of the different APIs. For example, if you go to the free ones, chat facts. This is the one I use for to show. This is shows facts about cats. Start from a very easy one like this. Go to API docs. You will see the API's documentation. In most of the cases, they even give you instructions on how to use care for this instruction. Here you can see the documentation, start developing. It says in many cases of the APIs, you have one base URL, which is this. So I can do a curl on this. And there are different endpoints. For example, one endpoint is called facts. It says whenever you call this, you will get some facts about cats. This is JSON and kind of ugly. You can pipe it to Python module JSON tool. So it will be a little bit nicer. Or even you can pipe it to a program which is called JQ, JSON query. I remember it like this. This is fancier JSON outputs. Or you can say, add to your query and say, I only need the last one. I think it's like this and JQ, the first one. Here you can see the output from the chair while it's working. So I can say, work silently. So you've got one cool fact about a cat. Cats make about 100 different sounds. Dogs make only about... Cool. Really? I can think of three, four, five different dogs. Anyway, so here you can see different APIs, start with easy ones, fun ones, then explore more and see what you can do and learn about your curl. Have fun and hope you enjoyed it. Where were we? Yes. Don't forget to thank and follow Danny for 25 years of magical 